How goes it everybody? My name is Howitzer and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today we got a nice little treat of a truck. Technically it's a Jeep. Looks like it's modeled after an old army Jeep actually. That's pretty cool. I like how they, <laughs> they call it the Wilma. But hey it kind of looks like a Willie's Jeep. Well you're actually wrong because it's not pronounced Willie's it's pronounced Willis. A Willis Jeep. Let's see what uh, see what upgrades they have for this thing. It actually looks really good. I doubt you're going to be able to do a lot to it, but let's give it a shot. Well, just the stock uh, inline four. Just the three-speed gearbox, like what it would come with back in the 40s. Okay. Hey, at least you can raise it a little bit. Tires, just your standard. Well, we need to do the grippers. Not a lot of options. It does have chain tires though, so you can drive it in the in the snow. Winch. Hand. A hand operated winch. Really? Hand operated winch. Increased strength strength and sturdiness. In a twenty one meter hand. Not very strong, but extremely reliable. Sure. Spare tire? We'll make it latch. Yeah, I'll actually do it for this one. Gageable diff lock. Snorkel. Snorkel. Got the pedestal mount for a gun. Sweet. Toolkit. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. Foldable windshield. And rifle rack. Yeah, oh yeah. Miscellaneous. Radio antenna. We gotta have the jerry can on there. But have it folded over like back in the day. Oh, you can actually have a a roof on it if you want. I don't want a roof. Front bumper. You can have some rope on it. Nah. And that's literally it. That's it for this thing. There's not much you can do. So let's see how it does. And of course it's nighttime. Now it's daytime. Alright. Let's go. Whee! That with no no high range. These little jeeps were known for just literally going anywhere. The real life ones, anyway. They were so light, and they were so small. They would just go anywhere you put them. You had to be careful because they'd tip over real easy. Especially with no roof. A lot of people got hurt. No, this is not what this thing is made for. <gasps> I disappeared. Will I reappear? I did. It's got banned to the shadow realm there for a second. Ah! I don't think it's it's terrible. I mean, it's I like I really do like the way it looks. Now, are you going to do some serious off-roading with this thing? Probably not. I do want to see its capabilities, though. I want to see if it'll actually. Oh, don't flip over. Get up there, you little bastard. Oh. All right, never mind. We're, we're just going to skip that part. I mean, low gear is quite low. They're not kidding with low gear. That is for sure. <laughs> Now somebody should make a mod of this and just fucking beef the shit out of it. Because this would be cool to have on like 44s. I doubt it's going to do well in this little mud hole over here. But I don't think the guy made it for stuff like this. I think he just kind of made it for just the look. You know what I mean? The diff lock on. I want to see if it'll crawl through this hole. Uh... Yeah, 
Yeah, it's it's just not made for this. Oh, I can make the windshield go up and down. Ha! That's pretty cool. Let's see if this thing will pull any trailers. It does have the little army trailer. Well, that's kind of cool. It's literally just uh, more parts and fuel. But you can also pull a scout. All the scout stuff. So we'll get the big trailer hooked onto it and see what happens. How it's going to do. Whee! I'd love to own one of these old army jeeps. They're so hard to find in good shape. Except take the four cylinder out of it and put the six cylinder in it. Put the straight six in it. Hell yeah. Put a five speed in it. Make it a little more modern. But I love the look of them. Well, if you want to get somewhere, I'll still be a nostalgic. This is definitely a mod for you. Let's put it in low. Put the diff lock on. Let's see if we can get up this little grade here. These rocks are going to make it really difficult. Yeah, I think that's the reason why the guy made this. is just for the nostalgic look. You're not going to go pulling a big old freaking trailer with it. And be doing stuff like this. That is for certain. I mean, if you really wanted to, you probably could. It'll probably just take you a little longer, that's all. See, I can't even winch up there. Let's try a different line. I don't want to give up on it just yet. It'd be one hell of a short video if I already gave up. Why am I over here now? I don't want to be over here. There you go. There you go. Come on. Oh, I actually was able to winch onto that. Not where I really wanted to winch, but okay. Come on. Come on, little Jeep. That front end is so light. Oh, there ain't no way I'm fucking making that. But we'll go around. Well, I mean, it's not doing terrible. I hate how the differentials do that. Get the diff lock on. You're having fun. And then they start turning red on you. It's bullshit. It's not how it is in real life. It's not a real life thing. I mean, it's doing it. It's it's actually kind of cool. I'm actually a big enough fan of the game. I would probably actually use it for a mission, to be honest. Well, the road disappears. The trail just goes bye-bye. Or do I go around on the rock here? No, we'll just go around. Just keep going. No, don't stop. Oh, come on, please. There you go. It's that stupid fucking wheel there. It gets caught on stuff very good design but I mean it's you can't deny that it's doing it I mean look at it this ought to be fun put the diff lock back on make it through these little dips here I mean it does have a decent amount of torque being in low range and only being a four cylinder low end torque is pretty good bottom out the trailer. Come on. Yeah, you're not going to get anywhere in a hurry. I think it's actually kind of a fun little truck, though. You want a challenge. If you want a real challenge, do a fucking mission with this thing. That's a good fucking challenge right there. I could see a lot of patience being tested right now. <laughs> give it a Give it a scout mission once. See that low end torque, it just takes off like it would in real life. Whee! Ah, oh, the front end in this thing is so light. There you 
There you go. Oh, come on. You almost had it. There you go. Oh, don't let that little bush stop you. You're going to let that little bush stop you, aren't you? All right. I mean, are you going to go through the biggest mud hole with it? No, you're not. You got a decent little Jeep that actually looks... fairly correct I mean even as far as it looks like what the gauges would be it's got the two sticks well three sticks one is for your forward and reverse gears I do believe one is for high and low and then I do believe the other stick is switched between two and four wheel drive and if I remember right I think that's what it was I got to drive an old Jeep like this but it wasn't an army Jeep it was a 47 Willis Jeep though that was a fun little truck the nostalgia factor is pretty big with this. You know, for what it is, it didn't do bad. It's pretty fun. Trying to show off somebody's work. Somebody put a lot of time into this. I think they did a good job. I really do. So give this video a like. Give me a subscribe. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.